what's going on Amani channel in the home lab and I was going through my closet and I was like you know what I have just boxes and boxes and boxes of, of gear of, of things that I've accumulated over the years so in this recipe we're gonna take a little trip down memory lane All right, so the one thing about being involved with video production is that you accumulate gear. Now, I have a mix of prosumer, professional, and consumer gear, and I was going through my closet, I was like, wow, I just have boxes that are taking up space, so I'm actually cleaning out my closet, and I wanted to share uh, some of the things that I've used, some of the tools that I've used over the years. All right, so let's get started with the flip cam. All right, so the flip cam, uh, about five or six years ago was kind of revolutionary because it put the camera into everybody's pocket. And so um, you may have had a flip cam at one time or another. They basically it had an internal memory and it were pretty good. The only thing, the main drawback of the flip camera was that it didn't have any, um, you know, an external microphone. So that's the main drawback of the flip cam, but they created flip cam both in HD, they had an SD version. This is, I believe the SD version. It had built in memory, so you couldn't really expand the memory, but you know, for what it was, for what it did back in the day, the flip cam was a great al alternative, especially for the consumers that were looking to start creating videos, you know, with YouTube and everything became really popular. This is the Kodak PlaySport. So this is actually a waterproof, version of kind of this camera which was the zi8 so you know the zi8 was a very popular uh, pocket camera it kind of like was like the predecessor of the flip camera the thing i liked about the the, the zi8 was that it had a ex external mic input so you can plug a microphone into the zi8 i actually have a couple of them still i use them occasionally to this day though the iphone and smartphones have basically replaced both flip cameras and zi8s the play sport was a waterproof version my play sport actually stopped working after about six months unfortunately but still it was pretty cool for like 100 bucks to get a waterproof camera did its job moving right along all right this is the duet now the duet is an external breakout box it's used for professional um voiceover or even music recording it's an interface that works with a macintosh computer it's for macs only but this is the first version of the duet uh, being by apogee and i still use it to this day though i also use my external microphone i have a usb microphone that i use as well but this is for xlr and quarter inch input so you can take your xlr plug it in the duet plug the duet in your computer and capture magnifique audio all right, this is one of the hard drives that I just accumulated. This is an affordable a terabyte uh, external hard drive. Actually, this is a verbatim hard drive. This is a 500 gigabyte by Simple Tech. Just use it for backup storage. Um, this is another external hard drive that I use. This is a um, Western Digital. I believe this is a Western Digital. Yes, Western Digital uh, FireWire external hard drive. Nowadays, Thunderbolt drives are kind of replacing a lot of the FireWire drives, especially with Mac computers. But still, uh, I still use all of these drives to this day. All right, so these are just some of the hard drives. You probably want to get an external hard drive if you're creating videos because they will take up all your internal memory on your hard drive. All right, this box doesn't look like much, but this is actually a box to uh, my big baby microphone. This is a box to my Electro Voice RE20 microphone. So this is actually um, what the microphone comes in if you were to get this microphone. So uh, this is the box for the Electro Voice RE20. It's a broadcast microphone, and that's basically all it is. So if ever I'm not using it, I just restore it in this box because it's nice and sound. It's all foamed out and it's protective. All right, so the uh, Electro Voice RE20 is, I just use it for voiceover primarily. Um, costs about 450 bucks. It's not an affordable microphone, but it is an excellent microphone for doing voiceover, etc. Now, if you want an affordable option for audio recording, external uh, USB audio recording, or for voiceover podcasts, etc., this is the microphone that I suggest you get. This is the um, Audio Technica AT2005, it's a USB microphone. 
it's a uh, it works for both XLR and has a USB connector so it's actually a hybrid microphone and I highly suggest it uh, this microphone it has great audio sound if you listen to our podcast the cook a Vid- better video podcast I primarily use this microphone with all my Skype interviews and it gets you that crispy sound it's also good for doing voiceover if you're really getting started microphone only costs 50 bucks so compared to the electro voice RE20, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go with $450 mic, you're gonna go with $50 mic. I say you start off with a $50 mic, and then as you grow, develop your skills, then maybe you wanna you know, step it up at some point. And since we're talking about audio, this is the iRig Pre. This is actually a, a smartphone device. This is a preamp that works with um, iPhones and Android devices. So the iRig Pre, it, it has an XLR interface. It goes XLR into the headphone jack in your smartphone or tablet and it allows you to capture professional sounding audio with your mobile device all right so i highly suggest you look in the iRig pre if you want that high quality mobile sound that you're that you should be looking for if you're ever doing a uh, voiceover etc or interviews and this is a mackie mixer this is actually a loner mixer that a friend of mine is loaning me but um you know i'm just keeping the box i have his mixer all right so um this is a mackie 402 VLZ3 and it's just basically a I think it's like a three channel mixer maybe four channel mixer yeah it's a four channel mixer really basic but you know if you're recording something with you need multiple lines coming in and mixing it down this is a very it's a starter mixer all right but this should do the job for you all right and we're getting to the end close to the end my friend this is uh these are some stickers from when I won a Telly Award. So when you win a Telly Award, you get some stickers to put on your marketing, um, you know, for marketing. So this is all what's left. I had a larger role, but Devin, um, yeah, he uh, went to town on these stickers. This is all I have left. So I need to win another Telly, but you know, I still have some stickers left over. All right. So these are just some stickers. And last but not least, I actually have a few boxes. But guess what's in here? All right. This is. <laughs> really dates me but these are boxes and boxes of mini dv tapes from when i was shooting on mini dv mostly with my xl1 i'm also had a canon allura 100 and a zr9 something that was a dv camera but you know when you're shooting tape you just accumulate tapes and i didn't recycle them because i you know was thinking that i was going to use my tapes for something again I was thinking that I was gonna use the content or do something with it but no I didn't so I have all these tapes that are just sort of taking up space that I mean I don't even know what I'm gonna do with them because they're all SD and you know tapes are kind of going out of style now all right and on top of that this is another box of tapes same deal a lot of tapes a lot of tapes going on here all right so that's what it is so believe it or not um, that's basically all I have to show off at this point. Um, you know, I have other gear, monitors, and um, I have some Samsung speakers and other things, a couple of cameras that I'm recording this with right now. But hey, you just took a walk through Amani Channel's memory lane, all right? So thanks so much. If you have any questions about the gear that I've showed off, please feel free to ask us at ask at webvideochefs.com. You know where to find us, Facebook, Twitter, on webvideochefs.com. Like this video, share it, show us some love. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Peace. Trying to get the other camera in there. Peace.